Hi gorgeous, it's me Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Colourpop Cosmetics. I'm so excited because I got the new Sol Mar palettes in the mail and I decided to use one of them in today's look. I will be using the other palette in a future video with Colourpop and um, I just wanted to really dive into this palette. I also have a lot of things I purchased from Colourpop a couple weeks ago for a full face of makeup so I'm excited to do this full face beat with Colourpop Cosmetics before you start the video please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already also click the little notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you do enjoy the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up so let's get started so we're just gonna jump right into the video I'm gonna be starting out with the foundation this is the Colourpop no filter foundation in the shade 175 so I'm going to be applying this on my face I'm going to use this blended sponge this one is from Morphe and I'm just going to apply this to my face I actually really like this foundation a lot I think it's pretty good so um, I do enjoy using it I'm just gonna pat that into my skin <laughs> I think it's a pretty good match for me, so it's one of the foundations that matches me really nicely. So it's good. It's good stuff. I'm gonna leave my reference shades down below because I know, like, with light and everything, like, I feel like I look a lot brighter on camera. So I want to just, you know, let you guys know what shades I use in other brands so you can know if we're shade buddies. <laughs> So, you know, yeah. So this gave me a pretty nice base. I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer now. I'm going to use the ColourPop. Oh my gosh. The ColourPop, what is this one called? The ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I actually have two shades. I have Dark 42 and Deep Golden 60. So I think I'm going to use Dark 42 today. I think let's just see. Do I want to use this one or do I want to use this one? I think I'm gonna go with this one. What do you guys think? What do you think? It's like bright but not too bright. I don't know. I might add some of the other one afterward, maybe. Okay, into my forehead. Hide that mustache. I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs upward. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> then I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna go under my brow to um, carve it out. Right under my brow. I find that whenever I do this, my brows come out more defined just because it's already defined before I even go fill it in. I'm gonna blend this out. It's been sitting long enough. I also blend out my under eye area. I feel like this conceal looks a little bit gray for some reason today. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna take this concealer. This is Deep Dark 58. And I'm gonna contour with this concealer. I don't know what just happened. Cause I actually use the darker concealer. Maybe I should add some of the other one because I don't know why it's looking gray. Maybe it's too neutral. I don't know why that just happened. I'm gonna blend this out with the sponge. I feel like I have to bring some warmth back into my face. I need to fix it. Blend out the under. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some of dark 42 and add that in a little bit just because some parts look a little gray. I thought maybe this one is more yellow. Maybe it would look a little a little better. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I'm going to set my fit, my under eye with the medium deep powder. I actually have the yellow powder, but I remember not liking it as much. So I'm going to use this one to set my under eye area as well as the rest of my face. Um, I haven't tried it yet though, so hopefully I do like it. 
some of these powders can run a little bit red this one looks like it's pretty okay so let's just see how it looks i'm gonna try it here first just to make sure everything is good all right this one looks fine okay looks good All right, so I'm gonna do my nose. So I'm gonna bronze my face a little bit using the ColourPop bronzer. This is the pressed cheek bronzer. And I'm gonna just swirl this brush in here and bronze my cheek. This one is pretty red, but it's all right. It's kind of like a blush on me just because it's still on the red side but it is showing up so that's a good thing because a lot of times bronzers just don't even work for brown skin so that's good i got a little bit right here just a little dab of it just you know and then dab it right here a little bit like i'm gonna use a little bit of blush as well i'm gonna use the ColourPop never been kissed blush this is like a pink shade almost like a hot pink a little of that. This one is really nice. I'm looking very cheeky today. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop. I keep saying ColourPop. Everything is ColourPop. I'm gonna be using the um, black and brown pencil, the brow pencil, and I'm just gonna comb my hair up a little bit. This is my first time using this pencil, so I am excited to see how I feel about it. I'm going to line under my brow. I like the color already. Sometimes brow pencils just, you know, the color is just off, you know. So this one looks pretty good. And I'm just going to draw some lines going upward i have been loving the messy brow look lately so that's kind of the brow look i've been doing just less defined more messy i don't know i've just been really into it so a little bit of filling in just kind of leave it a little messy and kind of like that you know i've been really digging that look this brow look i feel like it's super natural to the point where it looks like you didn't even fill your brows and it doesn't look like you did much to your brows i actually really like this pencil a lot it the color is really nice um the formula also feels pretty good it's not hard or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start my eye makeup. So I did get two palettes. I got the Soul Mar palette, the Soul Mar. This is the Soul palette. It looks really nice. And this is the Mar palette. Now I have no idea which one I'm gonna use today. Originally I thought I was gonna use this one just because I love the blues, but now seeing the shade in the middle, I didn't realize how beautiful it looked in person. It looks amazing. So. I think I'm going to go with this one first and then I'm going to use this palette tomorrow or in a future video. This color in the middle right here, you guys, is so pretty. Like, that's the reason why I want to use this palette. It's just shocking beautiful. I love it. I actually did not look for eyeshadow primer on ColourPop's website. So if they do have an eyeshadow primer on there, I'm sorry I did not buy it. I'm going to use my P. Louis primer though. I'm gonna start out with this shade right here. I'm just gonna push this color into my crease first. So I'm gonna add this in here. It's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna take this color down here. It is called, ooh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna add this. I'm also gonna blend this out over top. And I'm going to drag it out a little bit. The pigment is on another level. It's so good. I'm going to blend this out. Even when I blend it, it still holds that true color. It's amazing. It's amazing. 
All right, so next color I'm gonna use is this brown color down here. It is called Floaties, I think, if I'm saying the names in the correct direction. It's always hard to tell what direction the name's going for some reason, at least it's hard for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna use Floaties. I'm gonna just add that right up in here. This is kind of like a warm, medium brown shade. I'm just going to layer it right on top here. I'm going to take some more of my primer and I'm going to create a cut crease. Go in here. So first I'm going to take this color here. So I'm going to take some of this color right here and I'm going to apply that right in here. You guys, it's, it's beautiful. I'm going to take this color now which is called Motel and one of my favorite look at I love this color. It definitely, when I opened up this palette this was the first color I saw and I was like this color looks bomb so i'm gonna just use that in the center and it looks so pretty it's like a barbie malibu beautiful pink shade oh my gosh this this color is so beautiful i i love it lastly i'm gonna take this shade right here and i'm gonna apply that to the outer portion right here That. I'm gonna kind of wing it out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna work on the bottom part of my eye. Start with this color here. Don't be scared of your lower lash line. Just have fun with it. It's always intimidating adding color down here, but trust me, like just do it and you will love it. Just blend it out as much as you can go natural first like with browns you know play around with those natural looking colors first I'm gonna add this color to the inner corner of my eye so I'm gonna line my eyes with this brew haha brew haha eyeliner this is a very dark brown color and I wanted to add this to my lower lash line. So I'm gonna add some of this color over top just to maybe blend it a little bit. I'm gonna take Shayla's highlighter from ColourPop. I love this highlighter, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna highlight my lips. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop liner, lip liner in the shade Pitch. I'm going to use the color Uno Mas. So for gloss, I'm going to use the Shayla and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is beautiful. It's in the shade Neat Freak. Full of sparkles I love it so I'm gonna apply some lashes because I am feeling like a naked mole rat without my lashes um, they don't have lashes yet so until then we're gonna be using these lashes
this is the entire look completed i love the way it turned out i am really obsessed and loving this soul palette it is beautiful it is definitely the soul i love the colors in this palette i used a lot of the colors today i literally used every single shade except for these two up here and i i love them all they're so beautiful so this is the entire full face of ColourPop cosmetics besides my lashes and i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want to see any particular brand full faces and i will do that for you as well if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye